Good morning. It is a beautiful day, and uh, thank you for joining us. Welcome the last flight, truly last flight, of the Space Shuttle Discovery. So, Discovery is the longest veteran of the Space Shuttle fleet in their early years launching critical communications satellites and sometimes even servicing them when they didn't work correctly. She launched military payloads that kept our service men and women safe overseas. Discovery herself has launched dozens of Earth and space science spacecraft that have allowed us to peer into the universe like the Hubble Space Telescope and look back at our home planet. Their greatest accomplishment and purpose, which they have now completed, has been the launch and construction of the International Space Station, our science laboratory in space, and our foothold to the rest of the solar system. Like all great accomplishments, these achievements have come at a cost. When we lost the Challenger and Columbia flights and their brave crews, we rededicated ourselves to an even more meaningful and exciting future. And today, NASA is following through on that commitment by building on the success of the past and learning from our failures. President Obama has set us on a course that will tap into the innovative spirit that has made this a great nation. It will allow us to more fully utilize the International Space Station and to explore farther than ever before with humans, first to an asteroid and then on to Mars. This shift will allow us to advance our technologies, open new markets, and create more American jobs, making our aerospace, even, our aerospace industry even more competitive and increasing our economic and national security. So to those who say our best days of space exploration are behind us, I simply must disagree. While it is absolutely wonderful to reminisce about the past, and that is of course what we come to the Smithsonian Museums to do, NASA must continue and does focus on the future. You need only admire this unbelievable space shuttle and their accomplishments to realize that the people, the organizations, and the nation that created them have only just begun. Vehicles with names like Orion, Dragon and Dream Chaser are being built today all across the country that will continue to expand on the Space Shuttle's many accomplishments. After all, we remain committed to deliver a space program that advances the human condition and the human spirit. So it is my honor to deliver discovery to you today for you to share this national treasure with the nation to help us tell not only the story of the past but ushering in that promise for the future. I would now like to introduce one of our best partners on delivering this future to you today, uh, the Secretary of Transportation, Ray LaHood. 